Hey yo, what is up guys and welcome to this in front of him. Big news, by the way, big news, okay? So I was looking on Twitter and I saw this right here. I was like, no way Telltale's being revived, okay? You're you're playing around with me. I ain't about to fall for it. I look into it, it's actually it's actually it's actually pretty pretty real. And I start researching stuff like this whole company that bought them and the companies that you know they have under them, and we'll get into it, we'll break it all down, all for you, baby. It seems like Telltale is back, but I'll go into it. Here's their press release on the official Telltale website. It's saying the new management team and publishing partner, Athlon Games, to reissue select back catalog and new installments of beloved IP. So pretty much uh, new management team, which means that Telltale is now completely new under new management, entirely new management. And then we have publishing partner, Athlon Games, which is now Telltale's publisher, which is very, very, very important. I'll get to that later. And then they're reissuing Select Back Catalog, which is their previous games, getting them back for sale because they were taken off of Steam and various other platforms. And of course, lastly, new installments of beloved IPs, which means new games from their IPs, which is like Wolf Among Us, maybe Batman, Game of Thrones, please, please, please Wolf Among Us, Game of Thrones, that's all I need. Anyways, go ahead and get into this a little bit, a bit more information to explain the legitimacy of this article. So, pretty much the LCG Entertainment, a holding company that will be doing business as Telltale Games. So now this company is now Telltale Games, announced it has purchased the defunct studio's key assets, trademarks, technologies, and select IPs with the intent of re-releasing select games from the studio's back catalog and developing new games in some of the company's best-selling brands. So that's very, very, very important. I've mentioned that they bought some IPs, they bought their technology, you know, engine, source code, all that kind of stuff, trademarks, key assets, like, you know, models, all that kind of stuff. That's very, 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 very important with the intent of Re-releasing, we, we know that, and of course, uh, developing new games in some of the best-selling brands. That's really, really, really important. So, the purchase was led by this guy and that guy was made possible by a pool of investors, advisors comprised of well-known names in the games industry, including this guy, that guy, this guy, and that company, and some more partners. So, we have Jamie and Brian and also a pool of investors because this must have been a giant purchase okay they have to pay off their their debt buy their ips from certain holders it must have been very very expensive and i'm i'm so i'm so shocked someone actually did this like this must have been a giant risk and a giant investment so the new telltale will be headquartered in malibu with a Satellite office in Corte, Madera, California. Day-to-day -day operation will be handled by this guy and that guy, with this guy responsible for studio management and technology, and that guy running business development, finance, and operations. Well, Waddle, I hope you're good with that finance because that was the problem with the old Telltale. I'm sorry. But anyways, both will work closely with Athlon, who will serve as the marketing and publishing partner on most of the company's back catalog and new releases, freeing up Telltale to focus on development and studio growth. So listen here, okay? My breakdown of this is that Telltale, the old Telltale, was just one big private company. They didn't have a publisher. They handled both the publishing and development in-house, so they didn't have to answer to anybody. So now they have pretty much a publisher like you know how EA they own DICE DICE answers to EA now Telltale answers to Athlon which is very very important there and could provide a bit more structure in how things can you know uh, develop and get better which is definitely really 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 important there that's really awesome 
to see. You know, hopefully they can have a bit more, you know, structure and hopefully they think can go ahead and go a lot better with having the split development and studio growth from the whole marketing and publishing aspect of the company. That is very, very, very important and nice to see. Then we have key talent from the original company has been hired or contracted by the new Telltale. The new company will be based on a streamlined structure with plans for strategic growth and a focus on its core and new IPs. So that's definitely really awesome to see as well. They want to grow. They want to go ahead and focus on core and new IPs. Core is very important. Their core stuff is really just, you know, uh, some of the more popular titles and of course some new IPs as well. New, new ones. They wanted to go ahead and do a new IP at the old Telltale, but it never really happened. So hopefully we'll see it happen with the new Telltale games. Now we have no further details are being released about the assets purchase price. I don't care about the price. Tell me that bit of news regarding the reissue of specific back catalog titles, which means that which games are coming back. And of course, new games with existing IPs will be announced in the coming weeks. So, a bit of an update after the video, but you know, there was an interview saying they actually acquired Batman, The Wolf Among Us, Puzzle Agents 1 and 2, RGX Showdown, and another older title. And uh, information about the other IPs. Uh, ones that weren't really announced are Borderlands, Game of Thrones, Guardians of the Galaxy, Minecraft. They say nothing is announced, but it says the licenses, of course, expired. Therefore, they have to go ahead and renegotiate what they want from, you know, these games if they were to make them and make a new contract to get the IP for those series. And then, of course, Walking Dead, they have to get that back as well. They say it will stay at Skybound, so I'm not sure exactly what that means. And then, of course, they say that the Stranger Things was, of course, retrieved by Netflix. So, those are information about some of the IPs that were acquired. Then we go ahead and see the technology, of course, is the Telltale Tool, which is, of course, their engine they use. Of course, they were going to switch to Unity, so I'm wondering if they're going to still do that or not. But, of course, some other things come along with that, such as, you know, some source code that's very important. So, we'll see more about that whenever they announce certain things. And then pretty much we have the companies here, the LCG Entertainment, which is now Telltale. So basically, this company is being rebranded as Telltale Games, their private hill studio up in Malibu. And of course, they have a, a studio in, of course, California. They own blah, blah, blah. They own all this stuff. And they're pretty much, they're pretty much Telltale now. Okay. So. Just a little bit about the information there. So I looked into them a little bit. Uh, and then we have, so basically we have this one right here. Okay, so they are Telltale now. Now we have Athlon Games and they are Telltale's publisher. But they are also a subsidiary of this company right here. So this company is a Chinese pretty much holding uh, company that has invested in or bought like some pretty good developers so digital extremes which is pretty much the developer of warframe the free-to-play great game warframe they own that company then we have splash damage which is like one of the pioneers of the fps genre they made return to castle wolfenstein they made wolfenstein et they made pretty much dirty bomb which is my favorite game like ever and they also help on gears of war uh, as far as Ultimate goes and Gears of War 4, and then also the upcoming Gears Tactics. So they own some pretty good uh, developers, you know, Splash Damage is pretty good at their whole FPS type thing, and then they are all good at, of course, their live service Warframe. This is actually a pretty big company as well. This is the big dog right here. Athlon is the subsidiary of that big dog, and then Telltale is now a subsidiary of Athlon games. Okay, so that's all of that. Very interesting stuff here. Very glad to see this is actually happening. And I think this is actually pretty stable, okay? Telltale was by itself. They were a private company. No publisher, no nothing. Now Telltale is owned by this giant company right here. This big Chinese holding company. So unless like they go out or they're like, you know what, we don't we don't like Telltale anymore. They can go ahead and shut them down. 
unless this company goes like bankrupt, which is not really a, a thing, because you know Warframe's killing it right now and splash damage is doing great right now. Unless unless they somehow just die, there there's no. I think Telltale has a promising future now with a publisher and of course a holding company to support them. This 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 is huge. This is huge. We have the we have the developers coming back. Some of them at least. We have the IPs being bought back for new ones. This is actually pretty pretty big. So that's my opinion on the little bit of information we got here. Very 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 important stuff. Hopefully you guys do see this and just rejoice because baby, Telltale is back. We'll we'll hear more later. But Telltale Games is now back. And I'm looking forward to seeing what new innovations, what new things can happen with the new Telltale games. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is really great. Telltale, stay with us. We love you. And welcome back.